Hello, this is Reza from Visual Components. In this tutorial, let's learn a bit how to set sources and destinations to and from a process to create buffer, for example. To do this tutorial, you need access to process modeling components in Visual Components 4.2. So let's make a layout as you can see in the screen. We'll take parts to a from conveyor process, then robot takes it to the machine, and then from the machine to an exit conveyor. And we'll use a transport node, and then to a sync process. Let's go to process tab and then click on products. We have only one type at the moment. Under process flow editor, we'll create the processes. So to and from the machine will be by using robot as implementer. Let's use robot controller. And then on the conveyors, we will have conveyor as implementer. So now let's do a test. When we press play, the part doesn't move. Why is that? Let's investigate the case. So we'll go to processes and go to feeder process and then from conveyor process. So in the transport out of feeder, the destination is set to next process. Now let's see in the input point of the from conveyor process, what do we have set as source there? So here the source is from component container, but we need to have it from previous process. It needs to match basically. Let's check the simulation. Okay, part is coming in and taken by the robot. Let's change the feeder interval time to one second and see if there will be a queue on the input conveyor. Okay, no. So it means that the feeder is waiting for the next process to be free. Let's change it to have a buffer. On the transport out of the feeder, we'll change the destination to component container and same thing for the source of the next process to component container. And then now we have a queue as you can see. Let's do the same for machine to have a buffer in the next conveyor that is basically after the robot. We'll change the process time of the machine to one second to do a quick process. And then let's add a delay of 30 seconds in the sync process executor. Yeah, now let's arrange them a bit better. Okay, so having the delay of 30 seconds and checking the simulation. As you can see, machine is waiting until sync process has removed the part. Now the waypoint in the middle is basically a transport node. So we need to change that container to have a transport node. And then the destination node will be process sync. And in the input transport in, the source will change the component container for sync process. Now let's test our simulation to see if parts are queuing before the sync. Yes, now we have the buffer there. Feel free to practice more by yourself the sources and destination in processes. That concludes our video and thank you for watching. Bye.